Hey everyone, uh, Brandon here in sunny Huntington Beach. Uh, it's March and while the rest of the country's snowing, it's 84 degrees out at six o'clock at night. Um, so I wanted to do an update video because a lot of people were asking questions about the um, hydroponic system I'm running, the Dutch buckets and uh, the Harbor Freight greenhouse. And um, I had to kind of stop answering them because I've completely changed the system. So um, it's a little different inside now. Um, the Dutch bucket was working really well. I had a lot of good results, but it was messy. And uh, I had all the white buckets and they were growing algae, of course, which we all knew. Um, so I moved over to black buckets and um, kind of mixed it up a little bit, kind of turned it into more of a, like a deep water hydroponic system um, just to go with the rest of the changes I've made. So we'll take a look inside and um, kind of explain a few things and I'll try to answer as many of the questions as I can remember uh, from the videos. So uh, we'll go in and You'll immediately see there's some changes, so um, it probably looks a little different. Immediately you'll notice that um, I built a uh, NFT rail system. Um, I was really getting into doing lettuce and herbs and, and stuff like that, and I was making the lettuce, um, or I was growing the lettuce really well with uh, the crack key method, um, which works fine and it's off grid, um, but herbs and other things don't do so well in that system. Um, and I kind of wanted to keep everything uh, inclusive into one unit. Um, I felt like I was wasting a lot of water and uh, nutrients by um, putting them into um, troughs with the styrofoam on top. So uh, if you don't want it to be on the grid, that system works really good. Um, this just works better. Um, basically, what I've done, um, as you can see, the, the growth is really good. These are just four inch, uh, PVC uh, or vinyl um, fence posts. Um, obviously, they're hollowed out, they're capped and um, glued on, and uh, it makes a really good rail system. It's perfect for like a two inch net pot, uh, just like that. Um, you know, the system, you know, everyone kind of has their own way of doing things. Basically, what I did was um, I just hooked it into the main system and, and basically. It's running from the pump in the sump tank still, which is a 45 gallon. Uh, it goes up into the PVC there, obviously, up to this system, and it runs into two valves now, which I've changed. There's one here, one here, and actually one down there. And what I do is just shut those off so I can um, drain the sump easier. And uh, I can actually give you an example of, of what it does, just in case I need to ever, you know, water something or, or do some seeds you can just open this valve up and it flows out pretty good um, so that basically I just hook up the hose now and instead of having to go in there and get the water out um, I just hook up the hose we water the yard or any other plants we think um, you know can benefit from the nutrient rich water that way we're not wasting um, you know water and and you know good good nutrient rich solution so basically it gets pumped up run down each of them has a line feeding into it and um, just flows through and uh, I'll get a closer look here these are just uh, I just made some larger holes two inch holes and um, you can kind of see it's just overflowing into the uh, system there runs down through the PVC and enters in just like uh, one of the Dutch buckets used to so it's um, a pretty simple system um, it's kind of hard to build you know because there's just no instructions but uh, it was a lot of fun and it seems to be working really well. The lettuce is, is doing really good. And all this is from seed, which I had never done before. So um, it obviously saves a lot of money, you know, growing it from seed. And I've got some growing down here. Uh, and I just throw in trays, uh, just like this, little uh, seed starters. And uh, there's next week's romaine. Um, and then have some down here and some rock wool, trying that out, see if there's any difference. Um, so yeah, pretty good results. Um, I had to get a new pump because as you can see, the height of the system, you know, is uh, maybe like seven and a half feet and um, the regular pumps weren't getting up that high. I ended up buying this right here. It's a uh, Mondi 1585X. Um, this is like the greatest pump ever. It's extremely powerful and it runs the whole system. So it's running the uh, NFT rails and then it's also running all of these buckets that are going around 
Um, the cool thing about this uh, pump is um, it sucks in from the very bottom. So it's not on the side, it doesn't keep uh, any water in there. I mean, it, it really gets down to, you know, a half inch. So uh, again, Mondi 1585X, really cool pump. That's the one that's helping me drain it a lot easier. So um, onto the bucket system that we've built here. Um, you know, like I said, uh, the perlite was just, um, you know, it, a lot of algae. The roots didn't seem to have enough room after a certain time, the plants would blow up, and then they would just die after they had um, gotten to their maximum size, they just had nowhere to go. So what I did here was um, these black buckets, these are uh, eight inch, I think they're eight inch uh, net pots on top with just the, uh, you know, the volcanic rock stuff. And uh, water's always flowing in there, uh, 24 hours a day. Um, you can see the PVC is made and, and operated just like the Dutch bucket. Uh, there is a little bit of um, a four inch net pot in here. All that does is um, covers the PVC so none of the roots will get sucked into the system and, and pollute the system. So um, I found that uh, the system runs really well this way. Um, you know, I can control the pH balance. I can control everything easier when it's all in one system. Um, these guys were all very small when they were put in and you can see just by looking down in there how gnarly the uh, the root system is I mean it's it's very healthy and um, it's always covered in water and always getting fresh oxygenated water so um, so far I haven't ruined it by switching over to the system if you guys have any opinions on it on, on what's good or what's bad um, you know I just play it by ear I just kind of go with what I think works and what I see online and so far, this seems to be working pretty well. Um, these are my grape tomato plants. I had these giant, two of them, in here like two months ago, and they, the line snapped, and it broke at the stock, and we couldn't salvage them. And it literally put out like a thousand tomatoes. I mean, little grapes, they were awesome. So found two more. This one's actually a clone of the, uh, of the first plant. Uh, first time trying to clone something, use some cloning agent, and and a little you know bubbler system and it seemed to work pretty good so we'll see how big that one gets uh, that was just a um a sucker off of one of the sides so um hopefully it kind of develops the same way as those other ones because it's really cool uh other than that you can see the um the buckets are all online uh, very similar to um the dutch bucket system this will maybe give you a better example of what's going on in there uh, there's nothing in this one yet you can just see water's flowing in uh, there's the little four inch net pot blocking any debris from getting sucked into the system. And uh, the water gets moved in and out at a pretty good pace, uh, especially with that pump. Um, I had a couple questions on um, how the system you know, works as stoppage for the pumps or the lines. And basically, there is no stopping point um, except for up here now. If you, if you kind of go down here, we'll go down and look. The pump comes out and it branches into two lines. One line goes this way and follows along the door here and then up to the main line, which is right here. And the other one does the opposite and just goes this way um, on this side of the table. And they just meet. So it's, it's a continuous circle. And I found that when you do that, the pressure kind of stays a little more stable so you don't have it blowing an insane amount of pressure over here and then really weak pressure over here so um, if you have the option to you know come out of your pump and put it into a circle uh, that seems to work the best for me okay so uh, I had some questions about um, uh, the nutrients I was using uh, I don't have the original container because I just put it in here it's easier to store um, you don't want to get it wet obviously uh, what I'm using now is general hydroponics Maxi Grow uh, 10514 um, comes in a green bag. It's a powder, um, and it lasts a lot longer than the uh, liquid nutrients I was using before. So um, I usually put one cup of this in the 45 gallon reservoir, and that seems to be pretty good. So Maxi Grow uh, from General Hydroponics. Next thing I'm using, this is just helping the tomatoes out. Just a Cali Mag um, or Cali Magic. It's also from General Hydroponics. It's just a calcium supplement. Um, just to boost it a little bit, um, got rid of that bottom end rot. 
Uh, other thing I'm using, pH down. I keep it around 5.0. Comes out of our uh, tap at like 7.8. So um, once I got a sensor and realized how high it was, a lot of things change in the greenhouse. So make sure you're monitoring your pH. Um, you know, it takes not a lot of this to, to lower the pH. Uh, and that's it. I keep it very simple. Um, I'm sure I'll get some comments on what I should or shouldn't do, but uh, as you can see from these results, that seems to work. Um, you know, uh, I'm in a learning situation just like a lot of you, so um, I hope this helps kind of uh, guide you in the right direction. But um, uh, so far, this seems to be uh, one of the better systems I've run. Um, you know, the Dutch buckets were very successful. Um, just the maintenance on it was a little bit irritating. Um, so this, um, you know, I can swap these heads out all day if I want. Oh, I want to move this one over there, or this one over there. Um, it's very easy. Um, these black buckets are like $4 at Home Depot. These tops are like $4 at the hydroponics store. Um, you know, I've got a couple locally. And then uh, the line is all done the same way. So, um, that's pretty much it. Um, this is my newest thing is this rail system. It's like the coolest thing ever. Um, a, a quick note on what I've used here. Um, I've used, this is, um, you can get these at Home Depot. It's like a two-way, um, it's for boating actually. Um, it's like, I can't remember the exact name of it. I can add a parts name, uh, number in the uh, comments. But um, basically it's three quarter inch. It goes into the system here. And uh, there's a you know washer on this side and a washer on this side, so it can't leak. It's like impossible for it to leak. And um, I guess you can see down there, I've just got a um, uh, quarter, three quarter inch to one inch um, topper that I've made the drain. I've used a you know bandsaw to cut it, uh, so I had it to the level I wanted. So um, no leakage. Um, it seems to be the best way to do it. You know that's just a, a two inch cap and. Um, you know to a, uh, a half inch and that makes a nice little lid for it um, so I can pour things in there and whenever I do the pH down instead of jumping down into the reservoir I just pour it into there because it goes right into the system um, so you know those are the kind of things I start thinking about now is is, is not breaking my back getting down into the system um, and just uh, trying to make it easy on myself while enjoying it at the same time and trying to do it cost efficiently um, I'll show you one more thing. I didn't really show you guys uh, the, the pump working. I can't open it up all the way, but this will kind of give you just an idea of, of what's going on in there. There's the, well, it's kind of dark, but there's the new pump in there. Um, you can see the uh, aerator going. Uh, so it's 24 hours. Okay, so uh, sorry for the uh, shoddy editing, but um, my iPhone only holds so much uh, video storage. So. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to ask, uh, you know, any questions. I try to answer as many as I can. Um, uh, one more note: this uh, lettuce is in its like 35-day um, length, so it's it's almost ready to pull. So that's what it looks like in the system, and it's been in here since it's been very small. Uh, I think these are 25 or 30 days as well. Uh, these are from seed, like I said earlier, and they are, I think, three weeks old. Um, and they're doing really good. Nice, healthy, uh, healthy roots, and um, starting to look pretty nice. So, dollar uh, ninety nine for like a thousand seeds. Um, so, if you're you're trying to do it cost efficiently, that's obviously the best way. I was getting seedlings at Home Depot and or, or you know already grown uh, things from Bonnie plants, and they work really well. But um, obviously, it's a lot more expensive. So, um, anyway, yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to ask. Uh, as many questions as you want, and I hope this uh, helps you out or inspires you to build your own little system. Um, thanks a lot.